Hey guys, so as promised, today I am doing <laughs> today I am doing my TLC 2018 predictions. This is the final pay per view of the year. Um, I was going to do it a little later, but I just realized it is like almost 7 p.m. and it starts at 7:30, so I only have a half hour to do the video and have it upload. And I don't think it'll be up until 7:30, which is when the kickoff starts. But hopefully it'll be up by 8:30 because that's when the main um. TLC show starts. Um, like I said, it is the final pay-per-view of this year, which is really crazy to think about because, you know, it's almost 2019, and before you know it, if you, I said this in yesterday's video on my main channel for Vlogmas, that before you know it, it'll be 2020, and I'll be graduating in 2020, so that's crazy to think, but I mean, 20, I'll be graduating in almost two years. A little less than that. So that's crazy. But, like I said, today I'm doing my TLC 2018 predictions. Um, on my main channel, I'm also, on my main channel, I'm actually reacting to the first ever Christmas movie ever made. Which was made in 1890, 1889, 1898 or something like that. 18 something. In the late 1800s. But, yeah. If you're curious as to as to what the Christmas the whole the first ever Christmas movie was like, then just check my video out on my main channel. It shouldn't be I don't think it's up when it shouldn't be up by the time this video is first up, but it'll be up sometime tonight. I'm gonna be filming this right after I film this. So this video will be uploaded probably by the time I'm done filming um today's Vlogmas video. So yeah. So let me just pull up the matches for TLC this year. Alright. So, let me find it. Okay, right here. So, before I do get started with my predictions, as always, if you haven't subscribed yet, go, go ahead and do that. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'm so excited, so let's just get into it. So, the first match that is, after, is up, I'm actually very excited for this match. Because I'm a, like, if you guys didn't know, I'm a big fan of mixed tag team matches. I know a lot of people aren't big fan of those, aren't big fans of, um, mixed tag team matches. But I actually am. I find them really interesting and really fun to watch. Um, I'm going to find that every time I find out that there's a mixed tag team match happening for, like, Raw, on Raw, like, Raw or SmackDown or pay-per-views and stuff, I get really excited. Because, like I said, I'm a big fan of those. And the first match that I see... I don't think they're in order. They're normally not in order, but yeah, I'm just going with whatever I see first on Wikipedia here. Um, the first match um, that I see is Fabulous Truth, which is R Truth and Carmella, versus Maha Alicia, which is, versus, or which is Ginger Mahal and Alicia Fox in the Mixed Match Challenge Finals. And each member of the winning team will be the 30th entrant of their respective Royal Rumble matches at the Royal Rumble. And um, I think they all, I think. Both members of the team will win a vacation to anywhere they like anywhere they want. So that's really cool. I really want to see Fabulous Truth one because like I'm if I'm being honest, I'm not that big of a fan of Team Mahalisha. I really like Fabulous Truth way more than Mahalisha. I hated Carmela when I first became a fan of wrestling, but now I'm like she's one of my favorites and like she's queen. So I mean, yeah, Charlotte's the real queen in WWE. I mean, everyone calls her the queen, but in my opinion, Carmella's, like, the queen. Um, I mean, yeah, I do love Charlotte, and I think she is the queen. I love her as much as I love other wrestlers, like Carmella and Sasha Banks and stuff, but, yeah, Carmella is, like, one of the queens. <laughs> but, anyway, not only do I want them to win, I think they will win. So, I'm going to go with Fabulous Truth. Um... Next match is Seth Rollins versus Dean Ambrose for the Intercontinental Championship. Um, I'm gonna go with Seth Rollins. I don't, th I don't think Dean's gonna win. He ha like we barely see him. Well, we don't really barely see him, but we don't really see him a whole lot as Seth Rollins. You know, so I'm gonna go with Seth Rollins. Um, next match is okay. For some reason, I'm excited for this match, but I'm also really mad that this match is still happening. Mainly because this is probably might be Baron's, Baron Corbin's last match before he actually becomes the permanent general manager. And I really don't want him to be. Like, I really don't like Baron Corbin. I mean, yeah, his wrestling ability is, like, 
on point, like, amazing. But, like, no, I just really, I hate him as general manager. I don't really use the word hate that often, but I really don't like him as general manager. He's, like, one of the worst, oops, <laughs> one of the worst general managers in the history, if I'm being honest. I mean, like I said, he's a really good wrestler and stuff, but not, uh, I, as a general manager, he's one of the worst. I'm sorry, but that's just my opinion. I mean, yeah, Baron Corbin as a person, I'm sure he's a really nice person, at, like, outside of WWE, but inside of WWE, in my opinion, he just sucks as general, as GM, so I really hope he win, doesn't win this match. Um, but Baron Corbin versus Braun Strowman. And if Strowman wins, he will receive a Universal Championship match at the Royal Rumble, and Corbin will be stripped of all authority of power, which I'm actually hoping happens. Um, and if Corbin wins, he will be the, become the, furl, the full-time general manager of Raw. Um, Baron Corbin says he's going to win by a forfeit because Baron, because Braun's, you know, injured. But I feel like Braun is that type of person. Like, he is a big man. Everyone knows that. But I feel like Baron, like, since Braun's a really big guy, I feel like he's going to be very strong, like, strong enough. Will actually, and he will actually return and actually beat Baron Corbin. But if that doesn't happen... I think someone is going to come out, like Stephanie McMahon or Vince McMahon or someone like that, will come out and say, this match is not going ahead, and Baron Corbin, or either that, or um, someone will, someone else will come out and wrestle in, Bar in Braun Strowman's spot and beat Baron Corbin. Either way, I do not think Baron will win, because, you know, that doesn't normally happen. Um, but, yeah. And next match is Ronda Rousey versus Nia Jax for the Raw Women's Championship. Um, I'm going to go with Ronda Rousey. I'm going to go with Ronda Rousey for every women's championship match she will have until WrestleMania. Because, um, I don't think I've mentioned this on my channel before. I might have, but I can't remember ever doing it. Um, but I found an article a couple months ago stating that Ronda Rousey's, um, undefeated reign or undefeated streak will go on until WrestleMania 35, when she will eventually lose to Charlotte Flair um, for the Raw women's, women's title. And so, and that match is actually rumored to be the main event if they can't get The Rock back. So either The Rock will, either for WrestleMania 35, the main event will be something going on with The Rock, because apparently he might return. So, but if they can't, if WWE can't get the Rock back, the main event will be Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair. I mean, that could be rumors, but that's what I heard. But that's why until WrestleMania, every match that Ronda has, I'm going to predict that he, she wins. Because it, I feel like that was, that rumor is true, that she will keep her title to WrestleMania and she will lose to Charlotte Flair. That's what I think will happen. So I'm going to go with Ronda Rousey. Um, next match is Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles, or the new Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. I'm going to go with Daniel Bryan because he just won it, and I don't see him losing it anytime soon, considering he is the new Daniel Bryan. Um, next match is Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair versus Asuka in the first ever women's triple threat TLC match for the SmackDown Women's title. I'm very excited for the match, um, and I'm going to go with... Asuka. I feel like this is Asuka's time, and I think she will win. I Normally, I feel like there is a... Normally, um, I wouldn't go... Normally, I wouldn't go with Asuka, um, because there's not enough build-up for her win, but I feel like this will be Asuka's time, even though there is no build-up, and they haven't really built up this match as much, but I feel... And there isn't many rumors that Asuka will win, but I'm gonna go with Asuka. I'm going to be that one person that say Asuka will win. I mean, yeah, I've heard a few rumors that she will win, but I've also heard other rumors that Becky will keep her title. But I'm going to go with Asuka. Um, um, next match is Finn Balor versus Drew McIntyre. Um, I'm going to go with... God. I'm going to go with Finn Balor. I mean, Drew is a good wrestler and stuff, but I don't see him winning to Finn. Or, I, I see him losing to Finn more than anything. So I'm going to go with Finn Balor. Um, next match is Elias versus Bobby Lashley. In a ladder match, and a guitar will be suspended above the ring, and the first to retrieve it can use a weapon, and then the winner 
will obviously win by pinfall or submission. Um, so I'm assuming the ladder mat, you have to climb the ladder to reach the guitar, and the first person to do that can use it to their advantage. I believe that's, I believe that's how it works, um, most likely. Um, I'm going to go with Elias, considering his guitar will be the weapon, and, you know, I'm just going to go with Elias, because I like Elias, and I feel like, oh my god, I feel like he will win. Um, next match is The Bar versus The New Day versus The Usos in a triple threat tag team match for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. I'm going to go with The Usos. I feel like it's their, t it's their time to win again, and I feel like they're going to do it tonight. Um, next match is Nat Natalia versus Ruby Riot in the tables match. Now, I'm not going to go too into this because I feel like for next week's video, I'm going to do a rant on Ruby Riot versus Natty. Um, I'm sure you guys can already tell what the rant will be about, but that's why I'm not going to go too far into this. But I can't stand what Ruby is doing to Natty and like the way she's talking about Jim the Anvil Nightheart. Like, he's dead. You shouldn't talk about a dead person like that. And, like, especially to their own daughter. But, yeah. I'm, gonna go, I'm not going to go too far into it, but I'll go more into it next week. In next week's rant video. Because I, I plan on doing that for next week. Um, and next match is Buddy Murphy. But, yeah, I'm going to go with Natty, by the way. I didn't say that after, but I'm going to go with Natty. But their match is also a table match, which I believe I already said that. But, yeah, I'm going to go with Natty. <laughs> Because I feel like, you know, she's going to take all the anger out on Ruby. And especially for Ruby, what Ruby did to her. I, believe me, I would do that too. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go with Natty. Um, but next match is Buddy Murphy versus Cedric Alexander in, or for the Cruiserweight Championship. Now, I haven't watched 205 Live since, like, August or September. And it's December 16th now. Which means there are nine days till Christmas, and I'm so excited. But I'm getting off track here, but I'm sorry. I'm just super excited for Christmas, but I'm sure I'm not the only one. But anyway, yeah, I haven't watched 205 Live since, um, like, September or August or something. So I don't know, I don't really know what's going on between, like, all the wrestlers and stuff. Like, who's heel, who's face, and all that. But I'm... I'm going to go with Buddy Murphy. I want to say Cedric that I think Cedric will win, but I don't think he will win that much. I think Buddy Murphy will win more than Cedric. And the final match is Rey Mysterio versus Randy Orton in a chairs match. Can I just say, I hate how the Universal title is not being defended. Like, that just proves how it's okay with Vince that um, Brock is not wrestling. Like, I can't... I might, I might just save this rant for another video because I'm done with... Brock Lesnar, and I'm done with him not showing up, like, I'm literally, like, honest to goodness, honest to God, I'm going to do a video, pro not, ne not next week, or not the next week after that, because, like, I don't want to do two rants in a row, if you know what I mean, but, if that makes sense, but, maybe next week I'll do the Ruby Riot versus Natty rant, and then the week after that, I have no idea what I'll do, but I might just read another article, if I can't think of anything else to do, I actually know, Probably the week after that, I may do a Christmas, what I got for Christmas, WWE video. So where I pick out all my WWE things that I got for Christmas and show you guys all that stuff. Um, I don't know what I got for Christmas, what WWE things I got for Christmas, if I did get anything WWE related for Christmas. But, or if I do, because um, it's not Christmas yet and I don't know what I got for Christmas. I know a few things because I was my mom when, they, when I picked them out. And I convinced her to get it for me for Christmas, but I only know, like, three or four things I got for Christmas. And I normally get, like, like I don't know, 20 things for Christmas? I have no idea. But, yeah. But anyway, next week's video... Yeah, next week's video, I'm gonna do Ruby vs. Natty situation rant thing, and then the week after that... Maybe I will do my WWE collection, what I got for Christmas video, if that makes sense. And then the week after that, I'll do my Brock Lesnar rant. The next week after that, I will do, I don't know, but the week after that week, um, I'm probably, I think it's in early or the or mid-January I'll do it. Um, I'm going to do a whole rant with Randy Orton and what's going on with him and Ray. Maybe. Um, because it's not really making me as mad as Ruby is 
or Brock Lesnar is. But anyway, I'm going to go with Rey Mysterio because, you know, he's right and he can do anything, obviously. But yeah, I'm going to go with Rey Mysterio. Not only because I know I want him to win, but I think he'll win, like 90% sure. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, leave your predictions down below. And, um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys sometime next week for my Ruby vs. Natty rant. So, bye guys.